if you think that high cholesterol is only a problem for adults, no, think again. It is also an essential part of your child's health. Understanding childhood cholesterol and making simple lifestyle and dietary dietary choices can do a lot to prevent serious health risks in your child's future. Now, why is high cholesterol considered a problem? Well, adults are not the only people affected by high cholesterol. Children can have high levels of cholesterol as well, and this can pose serious health risks when your child gets older. Too much high cholesterol in the body can lead up to the buildup of uh, the material known as plaque, and these plaque can build up on the arteries that supply blood to the heart and other organs, and this can cause heart problems and stroke as well. Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquian. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. In this video, we will talk about what is cholesterol, what are the normal cholesterol levels, when is it a high level of cholesterol, how to diagnose this condition, how is it treated, and more importantly, what are the ways and tips that you can do to help your child. Yay! High cholesterol in kids. So what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a fatty substance in the body which has functional and structural roles for the cell membranes and hormones. Total cholesterol is composed of LDL, um, LDL or the low density lipoproteins are produced in the liver and these are the ones that get deposited in the bloodstream. It is also known as the bad cholesterol. Another is the HDL or high density lipoproteins which removes the excess LDL and this is known as the good cholesterol. Another one is the VLDL or the very low density lipoproteins which are also produced in the liver. And lastly, the triglycerides. These are um, so the fatty acids from the meals gets transported in the body as triglycerides. So children uh, can have high cholesterol levels, uh, especially when the LDL or the bad cholesterol and the triglycerides are elevated. When these happen, especially the LDL uh, gets deposited in the bloodstream, which are known as the plaques. Uh, these plaques can um, develop in the walls of arteries and can narrow the arteries and affect the blood supply to the heart and other organs. And this poses serious health risks. Now, what causes high cholesterol? Well, high cholesterol can be passed on from parents to children or it can be from obesity and diet. Youth obesity is the leading cause of high cholesterol in children, and 43% of children who are obese also have high cholesterol. Also, children with diabetes, liver disease, kidney disease, and hypothyroidism are at risk for developing high cholesterol. Though some hereditary factors are difficult to control, it is important that you know your family history. So what is normal cholesterol in children? Well, high cholesterol in children and adults is total cholesterol greater than 200 mg per deciliter and LDL or triglycerides greater than 130 mg per deciliter or HDL less than 40 mg per deciliter are considered normal. So for children, staying under these levels is considered healthy. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends universal lipid screening for children 9 to 11 years old and 17 to 21 years old. For children with risk factors, lipid screening can occur sooner. 
So how is high cholesterol diagnosed? Well, doctors can check for high cholesterol levels with a simple blood test. This is especially important if there is a strong family history of uh, cardiovascular disease or if the child has a parent with high cholesterol. With this simple blood test, the doctors can check if the cholesterol levels are high. Uh, updated guidelines from the American Academy of Pediatrics regarding medical treatment for children 8 years and older indicates that medical treatment is indicated for children with LDL levels greater than 190 mg per deciliter if there are no risk factors or um, the dietary modifications have been unsuccessful. Medical treatment for children with LDL levels greater than 160 mg per deciliter if there is a strong family history of early onset cardiovascular disease or if there are other risk factors such as obesity or hypertension or cigarette smoking and medical treatment for LDL levels greater than 130 mg per deciliter if the child also has diabetes. So how is high cholesterol treated? And what are the ways that you can do to help lower your child's cholesterol? But before we go to that, are you expecting a baby? Or you already have a newborn and you're having trouble with breastfeeding? Um, are you worried about baby's sleep? Well, you have a fussy baby and you're not quite, not quite sure, you've tried everything. You want evidence-based training from an expert in the field? Or you're away from home and you kind of lack um, the social support? Well, I've created an online video training series known as the 5 Newborn Care Strategies. Do check that out uh, with the link provided in the description section. How is high cholesterol treated? Well, the best way to treat your child's high cholesterol is with diet and exercise that involves the entire family. Now, if these dietary changes have been unsuccessful, well, medicines can be tried for children who are older than 8 years. Um, take note though that cholesterol levels should be retested three months after dietary changes and or medicines. So what can you do to help lower your child's cholesterol levels? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that for children who are two years of age or older to follow a healthy diet that includes uh, taking low-fat dairy products. For children who are 12 months up to 2 years of age, who are overweight or obese or with a family history of um, obesity, high cholesterol, or cardiovascular disease, are recommended to take low-fat milk. Also, the recommendation is that for children with high cholesterol levels, to limit the intake of total fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol. And also, uh, the total calories consumed per day should be less than 30% of it should be from fat. These recommendations are not applicable to children who are 2 years of age or younger. So what are the examples of good foods for breakfast? You can offer fruits, cereal, oatmeal, and yogurt. Also offer low-fat milk. For lunch and dinner, try baking and grilling foods instead of frying them. You can offer fish and skinless poultry. Always serve fresh fruit and offer whole grain breads. Um, for snacks, avoid fruit drinks and soda while offer fruits, uh, vegetables, uh, bread, and cereal. So what else can you do to help lower your child's cholesterol? Well, lifestyle modifications are the core to treating your child's high cholesterol. The most important 
important that you, mom and dad, work with your child. Regular exercise, such as moderate to vigorous physical activity about 60 minutes per week, can already do wonders and help lower your child's risk of developing high cholesterol. And also, you need to limit screen time to less than two hours per day. This encourages an active lifestyle in your child. Um, however, for children with familial hypercholesterolemia or other diseases such as liver disease, kidney disease, or diabetes, your child might need medications. Hey, if you like this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.